Visakhapatnam Steel Plant, popularly known as Visag Steel, is the most advanced steel producer in India with the help of German and Soviet technology. Its products have been rated the best in the world market. The company has grown from a loss-making industry to $3 billion turnover company registering a growth of 203.6% in just four years. Visag Steel Plant was conferred Navratna status on November 17, 2010. Founded in 1971, the company focuses on producing value-added steel, with 214,000 tons produced in August 2010, out of 252,000 tons total of saleable steel produced. It is the largest single-site plant in India and Asia Minor. History On April 17, 1970, the then Prime Minister of India, the late Indira Gandhi, announced the government's decision in the parliament to establish a steel plant at Visakhapatnam. Planning started by appointing Site Selection Committee in June 1970 and subsequently the committee's report was approved. On January 20, 1971, Gandhi laid the foundation stone of the plant. Consultants were appointed in February 1971 and feasibility reports were submitted in 1972. The first block of land was taken over on April 7, 1974. MSM Industa and Company was appointed as the consultants for preparing the detailed project report in April 1975 and in October 1977 they submitted a proposal for 3.4 MTPA of liquid steel. With the offer for assistance from the government of the erstwhile USSR, a revised project evolved. A detailed project report for a plant with a capacity of 3.4 MTPA was prepared by MSM Industa and Company in November 1980. In February 1981, a contract was signed with the USSR for the preparation of working drawings of coke ovens, blast furnace and sinter plant. The blast furnace foundation was laid, with first mass concreting, in January 1982. The construction of the local township was also started at the same time. In the 1970s, Kurid Pam Zamindars donated 6,000 acres of land for Visag steel plant. A new company Rashtriya Lispat Nagam Limited was formed on February 18, 1982. Visakhapatnam steel plant was separated from sale and RINL was made the corporate entity of Visakhapatnam steel plant in April 1982. Visag Steel Plant is the only Indian shore based steel plant and is situated on 33,000 acres, and is poised to expand to produce up to 20 MT in a single campus. Turnover in 2011 to 2012 was RS 14,457 crores. On May 20, 2009, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh launched the expansion project of Visakhapatnam Steel Plant from a capacity of 3.6 MT to 6.3 MT at a cost of Rs 8,692 crores. But the investment was revised to 14,489 crores with the following classification, expenditure for the financial year 2009 October Rs 1840 crores. RS 5883 crores since inception of the project. Total commitment, including enabling works, steel procurement, consultancy, spares, etc. is RS 11591 crores as of March 25, 2010. The expansion project is expected to become functional by 2012. It has been rated the best place to work in India for consecutive five years. Infrastructure Coke ovens and coal chemical plant, sinter plant, blast furnace, steel melt shop and continuous casting, light and medium merchant mill, medium merchant and structural mill, wire rod mill, steel melt shop, thermal power plant. Equals Coke ovens and coal chemical plants equals, functions, Coke dry cooling plant, Coke chemical plant, gas condensation section, ammonium sulfate section, Final gas cooling and naphthalene washing, benzyl recovery, dry purification unit, gas bleeder, tar distillation plant. From the storeyard, the coking coal is sent to foreign material removing section to remove foreign matter of above 150 mm size. Iron traps for ferromagnetic articles and cylindrical screens are provided for this. 16 nose of bins each 800 tons capacity are provided along with continuous action feeders of up to 100 tons per hour capacity each. 
After blending the material is crushed to take care of petrographic non-uniformity, high hardness and mineral content of crushed and blended coal 74 to 78% of 3 mm sizes conveyed to two coal towers each of 4000 T capacity. Weigh bridges are provided under coal towers to weigh the coal charge system of pneumatic blowdown of blenders provided in the coal tower to take care of jamming of coal. Battery The prepared coal charge in the coal tower is drawn by a charging car on the top of the batteries and charged into the ovens as per sequence. The charged coal is gradually heated by the heating wall of the oven in the absence of air to attain a temperature of 1000 a degree 1050 a degree Celsius at the central axis of the coke mass toward the end of coking period. The coking period is generally specified between 16 hours and 19 hours depending on oven condition and production requirement. The volatile matter of coal liberated during carbonization is collected in gas collecting mains in the form of raw coke oven gas passing through stand pipes and direct contact cooling with ammonia liquor spray. The gas cooled from 800 degrees Celsius is drawn to coal chemical plant by exhauster. The residual coke is pushed out of the oven by push a car through a guide into a coke bucket. The red hot coke is taken to coke dry cooling plant for cooling. There are three batteries, each having 67 ovens each. Each oven can hold 32 tons of dry coal charge. The volumetric capacity of each oven is 41.6 Come the heat for carbonization is supplied by under-firing of coke oven gas having CV of 4200 kilocalories per newton meter 3 of mixture of BF gas and CO gas having 900 kilocalories per newton meter 3. The heating system of batteries is of under jet compound type having twin heating flues with recirculation of waste gases. Accidents On June 13, 2012, 19 people died during a trial run of recently commissioned oxygen plant, due to a massive explosion in the plant. Union Steel Minister Benny Prasad Verma visited and announced 20 lakhs excratia to each person. References External links Official website